All right, we're going to uh, share a little bit of more information we have about testing. The AP Human Geography test is going to be May the 12th at 4 p.m. I uh, already talked about that in previous videos. We do have a few more updates, though. We know that there's going to be two FRQs. Again, no multiple choice. There will be one FRQ that is a total of 15 minutes, and that's what you will start with on May the 12th as you take these exams on your computer or they say your phone. I would suggest your computer at home. After the 15-minute FRQ, you then will have a five-minute period to submit or potentially upload your answers. I do not suggest uploading. The reason for that time period is they're allowing people to handwrite it, take a picture of it with their phones, if that's what they would rather do, and submit it that way. Uh, I'm not suggesting that unless you just absolutely despise typing. Uh, after that, then you'll have a 25-minute FRQ. So there's a 15-minute FRQ and a 25-minute FRQ. They have software in place for cheating. Uh, some people, I'm sure, have been wondering what is cheating since you're going to be able to have open note on this. You're going to be able to obviously look for stuff. Well, first of all, they're not going to ask any questions we're being told where you define something because you can look that up or identify something because obviously you can look that up. So plagiarism, copying something straight from anywhere, website, book, whatever, that would be cheating. Also, if someone is helping you in any way, uh, that is considered cheating, and they're going to have software in place that will mean your scores will not count at all. Um, at this time in the class, one thing we're going to be working on this week is a little bit of new material. The next question is kind of how do we get ready for this? You know, there's a lot of unknowns based on what we're going through right now that I don't have all the answers for. But I'm pretty sure one thing's not the answer, and one thing that's not the answer is to just give up. And so I'm going to keep fighting through. I expect you to do the same. I think there could be some, some great rewards at the end of the day in college credit, hopefully, if you take this the right way. Uh, with that being said, due to new information from the State Department of Education, there is the opportunity in this second nine weeks to improve your grade. Now, ethically and morally, I cannot give you that possibility if we don't have full participation with our daily work and our FRQs. But if I see that and I see progress, then I would love to be able to give people the chance to improve their grade higher than it was the first nine weeks. But just to give you an example, and I know there's still a little bit of time on Sunday night when I'm making this video, but we have about a 12% participation on Thursdays. FRQ. And that is your choice to not do that, but it's also your choice to not have that grade possibly improve. And most importantly, guys, it's your choice to not get better, to possibly get college credit. If you're having issues, let me know. If you know somebody else is having issues and they're not, they're afraid to talk for whatever reason, please share that with me and we'll get you help. AP has given us information where we can actually reach out to them for help technology wise and stuff like that but we are going to plow on this week we're going to have three days where we don't have any frqs assigned so we can get some people caught up i'm going to be contacting several of you uh, might be by email might be by phone but um, guys we got to go ahead please be using ap human geography ap live review sessions i'll have them linked every day use this to help you review interact with us on schoology and let's make this count and get better at what we're doing.